But before we do, we did bring some guys back. We did bring some guys back on the practice squad. Uh, Will, I'm going to come to you. Talk about some of the guys that we brought back and their chances of actually maybe getting on the field. Yeah, yeah. So one of the guys that they brought back was Kaz Allen. Um, I think we had him on our our 53. We were seeing, you know, basically they were trying to get this guy on the on the on the squad. They put him at punt returner. They put him at kick returner. He was a wide receiver on our team. They moved him to running back. Like they were doing everything they could to to you know to have him show that he can be on the team. And one of the things I was hearing afterwards is he really just he didn't make any any splash plays in in preseason. You know, he he really didn't make anything like Wiley turned heads and Kaz Allen for as much as they tried to force him onto that squad. He just he didn't he didn't for the second year now he didn't do it. The last squad really liked him too, but they brought him back on the practice squad to you know let, keep going with it because they see he's got speed. They that you know they see he has some potential. Um, they brought back both of our our wide receivers, Mitchell Tinsley and Bryson Tremaine. Tremaine was another guy who was showing out during training camp, but then the game, you know, the lights came on and he didn't really do a whole lot during the games. Uh, but he's a bigger body, so some, you know, somebody there. And then the guy that we all were wondering, how does he fit in? So they paid the dude from uh, Colorado State, Chig Anusian, a lot of money mm-hmm. as an undrafted free agent. And so it's kind of wondering, like, all right, well, you gave him this money. He probably has a chance of sticking. And they they did not keep him on the 53, but they brought him back on the practice squad. And to me, that's kind of like – that's the difference between Snyder and Harris. Because Snyder would be like, I gave this guy 350000 No, he needs to stay on the roster. You need to keep this guy. And Josh mm-hmm. Harris is like, you you pick, you pick the best 53 if we, I just, you know – gave away money because you guys thought you saw something and, and he just wasn't worth it, then so be it. So those are coming some of the names that I saw on the practice squad that they brought back that 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 were notable to me. Yeah. Um Ab, well, what you think, man? Um I don't have an updated yeah. list of the practice squad, so I can't really um I see my, so Chiggy, that that's the see. one I was harping about. Um yeah. Um, here it is. Here it is. I got the uh, I got the guys. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Here's the signings right here. Eight twenty eight. All so right. Kaz so, Allen, Chiggy. Yeah. Yeah, Chiggy was the one that um Will was just talking about that we paid, and that was the one I was harping on. I was really worried about because he fits. He fits the plan. You get what I'm saying? Um, and yeah. I would like to me. I would have much rather him been on the team than um someone else because that's the development and i don't know what practice squad is like but the only thing i can go from it is how um what did they call it in high school sean um uh, what um of the what when we were trying to emulate the other team uh the scout practice. team scout team, the scout team? That's, the only, yeah. that's the only reference i have if it's anything like scout team they're not really looking at you. So, yeah, no. At, mm. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, they're not really looking at you. They're looking at you to get the other team better, uh, to get the first team better and everything like that. And so that that's my only thing about it. Like, if it's anything like scout team that was in high school, then, then uh, yeah. I don't think these guys are really getting a fair shot unless first team – gets injured and then it's a move up type of thing and even that even that sometimes they don't even look at you i know this is a high school but they don't even look at you like they'll get someone else that's a free agent to come in yeah yeah you get what i'm saying yep. so um i would have much rather chiggy make the team it would have that probably would have helped development a little bit better for uh for any of these young guys um and that's the one that i was Chiggy and Wiley, I, I have mm-hmm. a soft, uh, a soft heart for my running backs. So <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> oh, he absolutely has a chance. Of, you know, they they talk about it. They keep harping on the fact it's their initial fifty-three, and don't forget they expanded 
the rules on game day where you can protect four practice squad guys each week. Um, you yeah. even have the ability to, to move people up. So they have the ability to, to work these guys in. I mean, it's someone like, um, like Cole Turner, if Zach Ertz goes down, Cole Turner may need to come in and play that, that kind of pass catching role. You know, there, you know, Ben Sinet can probably do some of it, but that, you know, there are times in the season that some of these guys may be that, that direct replacement. Uh, you know, we talk about Wiley and they may find, you know, there may be a time in the season that they need to bring in his speed. They need to bring his pass catching ability for whatever they got going on on offense. And so there, I think those, there are going to be some guys who are going to be this revolving door going up, down, up, down, up, down when it comes to the, to making the active roster. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, look, you see that right there. Uh, we signed Max Sharping. We talked about him. Signed Sheldon Day to the Brad Scott. So these are a couple other guys. Uh, Will, I did want to talk real quick on the release side. You see somebody that you've talked about, and we talked about this guy before, Ricky Stromberg, didn't make the cut. Didn't They didn't bring back. Uh, I mean, what, what, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Because he was somebody that I know you had – talked a lot about but things you know didn't really pan out this year i mean can he go somewhere else i mean he really didn't there wasn't much on him much tape on him from us there's not no yeah that's kind of disappointing um i really liked him at arkansas i was thrilled with the pick last year thought that he could develop into into somebody um i think what you're seeing here is a difference in scheme they're looking for athletic offensive lineman who can get downfield to block and be a part of things that's not really his you know his his game he's he well when he came out he was a little bit more of a mauler and so that it may just not have been a, a fit i did see like during preseason he was playing at guard because michael dieter was the backup center so already it's like you, you shifted him to a different position that's not a not a good sign um and he's coming back from a knee injury that ended his rookie season um Funny kind of side note is Ron was really disappointed last year when he got hurt because he thought he was coming along and could have gotten on the field and these guys cut him. Yeah, um, you know, so maybe that kind of shows you what what those two two different regimes value. Um, so yeah, I was disappointed that he that he left, but again, it, it may just be a situation where he's not fitting what they're looking for, and it's too bad. But it is what it is. 